Hey, what's up, Integrity fam? Today we're having an interesting one for you, and we're having a look at file upload vulnerabilities. And we're going to upload a web shell, which is pretty cool. So let's jump into the lab. This is, as you guys know, provided by Port Swigger, and we're having a blog. And if we look around, you know, there's a couple of images, but we're not too much interested in that. And we're going to have a look at the my account platform. So we've got we got a username by the lab with Wiener and Peter. And if we look at the my account page, we do see an email box and a little box to upload an avatar. And as you can imagine, us speaking about file upload vulnerabilities, we're going to focus on that for today. And we're going to upload an image. Click on upload and the website tells us it has been uploaded. Everything's good. Go back to my account. All right, now we have a beautiful cat sitting over here, which is our avatar. So let's have a look at Burb. Let's have a look at all the requests that are going out. And we are seeing a post request, which we've used to upload the image. And we're going to use that in just a bit. But for now, just realize that there's a lot of garbage. I mean, obviously it's just the image data, but it looks like a lot of garbage. And we're going to send that to repeater because we will need it in just a bit. And then apart from that, we're searching for a request that shows us this image again. And for that, we're going to include images in the filter settings. And now we do see a get request where we're getting this image back. And as you can see, we're getting the exact same content back that we've uploaded the minute before. So let's also send this one to our repeater. And what we're going to do to structure this a little bit, we're having two tabs. We will call one of them upload file. And the second one we will call show file. So we're having two different requests over here that we are dealing with. And let's have another quick look at show file. Yep, it still gives us the cat image back. All right, but let's look at the upload file request for now. You can see that we're using a form to send that image to the web app. And with that, you have a couple of different um, parameters like the file name being cat yada 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 dot JPEG, a content type with image JPEG, and then once again, the actual image file. But let's see what we can do. We will go ahead right now and we will delete the file name. We'll just say, nope, this is not going to be our cat image. We're going to call this a little different. We'll say, hey, this is called myexploit.php. And if you're watching carefully, you might have noticed that this time we're having a .php ending. So this is actually not an image anymore. But in here, we're still having all that image data. So let's go ahead, select all of that image data, and let's just delete that because we don't want to send that to the application anymore. What we can do now is we can say, okay, let's try if we call the file.php, let's try if we can actually upload PHP code. And we can do that with the line that you're seeing over here. So we're going to say, uh, well, uh, angle bracket, question mark, PHP, echo file, get contents. We're going to try to retrieve the Etsy password file, and then we're closing the tag. So let's have another look again. So echo just means that we're going to show what file get contents is going to send back. And we're going to send this to the application right now. And if we look at the response, it tells us once again, well, yeah, sure. I mean, now you call it myexploit.php, but it has been uploaded. And that is the important part of it here. Like the application is not using any filtering. It says, sure, you can upload that. So now if we have a look at show file, we obviously have to exchange the file name because we renamed it to myexploit.php. So let's do that. And we will once again send this to the application. And if we have a look, we do see that we were successful. We got the Etsy password file being echoed into the server response by the application. So that is really great. I mean, this is actually more sensitive than what we're going to do right now. But for the sake of solving this lab, we got the challenge to read out 
a secret file by Carlos. So Carlos is a user within the lab scenario, and apparently his file is stored on the home Carlos secret. So let's change that PHP function one more time. We're just going to re-upload. It tells us once again, yeah, you're all good. You've uploaded the file. We're going to click on show file. We'll send this request to the application one more time. And we're having a string. And that might be the secret. So let's copy that for now. And we'll jump over to our lab. And there is a submit solution button where we can submit a string. We're going to use the secret string of colors and click on OK. And as usual, the stars align for us and we have successfully solved the lab. All right, let's quickly reiterate on what we have been doing. We were searching at a possibility to upload a malicious file. So first of all, we had a look all around the web app and found an upload functionality for an avatar or like an image. We inspected the upload functionality and realized we can actually upload PHP files, which could get executed by the underlying server instead of a JPEG or like a PNG file, like an image file. So we were uploading and changing the name of the file to a .php file, and we were uploading PHP code instead of our image. And once we had done that, we were having a look if the code got executed by the server or not. And luckily for us, it did. And we got the echo function, the response of the PHP function that we were running in the server response by the application. How cool is that? All right. I hope this made a lot of sense to you today. I hope you liked this video. And yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any additional questions. Give this video a like and subscribe in the top right corner. And I will see you folks pretty soon.